Now, last night, the oil police, under the command of the, comp- the oil corporations, moved against the water protectors uh, over uh, near uh, Backwater Bridge. Now, uh, Backwater Bridge is, of course, uh, very, very close to Cannonball, North Dakota, which is one of the bigger camps uh, encampments that the water protectors are at. Now, according to uh, different reports, uh, nearly 400 water protectors were camped out, uh, and according to police, they tried to force their way past the cops that set up a barricade. Now, in reality, the water protectors were essentially trying to unblock the road. Now, what happened is that police had changed, uh, chained together several burnt-out trucks along with concrete barriers in order to block a public road in and out. Now, the water protectors were attempting to remove that barrier. Now, in response to this, and, and, and get this, the police are actually calling that action a riot. Like, removing the barrier somehow turned into a riot. And because of that, the police ended up deploying tear gas, rubber bullets, and water cannons. Now, there were reports that people were setting fires, uh, small fires, sometimes big fires. That's, of course, the police saying that. Uh, and they're like, what? We just used the water cannons to put up the fires. That's, that's all we needed to do, right? Well, look, uh, uh, that would make sense if it were true. Um, but the other thing is, it's 25 degrees out there. Like, right now, it's cold. So, if they were setting fires, you think that maybe they were trying to do so to keep warm. It's not like you can, you know, plug in a space heater out there, okay? You got to have some way to keep uh, warm. Again, as I said, it is below freezing. And, of course, here are the police, the militarized police that are there, hosing people down with fucking water cannons. Water cannons. That's not good. And uh, look, you're going to end up giving people mass hypothermia. But that's what yeah. they're trying to do with these uh, against these water protectors and what they call a mass riot. Now, what is the result of this mass riot? One arrest. Now, Ron, do you, do you think that uh, a riot would lead to one uh, more than one person being arrested if it's such uh, a mass yeah. riot? I would think so. And, and the other thing I can't help but notice here is that all of a sudden there is this increase uh, in police brutality. It's been there before. Like, this is nothing new. It's been going on at the protests for a while. Uh, and the Obama administration's response has to do uh, is basically we're going to let it play out. We're not going to do anything about it. Oh, that's uh, bullshit. But now it's increased. And I can't help but notice this is shortly after uh, information came to the surface that these protests are costing uh, the, these, uh, these oil and gas companies $100 million. So I, I guess when they say serve and protect, they mean the bottom line of uh, pipeline companies. That's what they're referring to. That's what they're going to serve and protect. This is, this is why I call them the oil police, and that's what everybody <laughs> should refer to them as. <laughs> but um, so, so on these supposed mass riots, these uh, protests... Now, well, keep in mind, some of them aren't even police officers. Some of them are just... Yeah. Um, yeah, some of these people thugs. Are, just, are just contractors. They're just they're yeah. literally hired goons. And, and look, they also... It's the same hired goons that released the dogs on the protesters uh, a while back where uh, Amy Goodman was covering it, by the way, uh, from Democracy Now! So, and, and, of course, it, not just that, but they brought in police from all over the country to converge on this one area. That's, that's scary. Um, but uh, now I want to tell you some of the ridiculous statements from the Morton County Sheriff's Department. Now they say, uh, they said that officers on the scene described the protesters when they were trying to remove that barrier as very aggressive. They were very aggressive. And they also claimed that demonstrators tried to start about a dozen fires as they attempted to, quote, outflank and attack law enforcement barricades according to the sheriff. Or, as I mentioned before, maybe they were just trying to stay warm because it's 25 degrees out there and you just hosed them with a water cannon. I'm just saying. Now, police, get this, later claimed that protesters had hurled rocks, striking an officer, and fired, quote, burning logs from slingshots. Burning logs. Now, look, you would think that that would be someone, uh, something that someone would want to catch on, on video, right? Hurling a flaming freaking log at somebody. You think somebody would catch that on video? Well, so far, I haven't seen any video of that. There's no evidence of that. 
but that doesn't challenge the police narrative of we must crush these people because they're standing in the way of corporate profits. Now, uh, speaking of video, I do have one short video. Uh, this was taken from a drone uh, that belonged to one of the water protectors. Um, and and, and, and uh, either a water protector or a journalist there that was covering this, I want to show you some of this footage of what actually went on uh, during this uh, during this so-called mass riot. So you're seeing uh, this drone uh, being shot at by a water cannon. There's some fires in the background, okay. Um, or some lights at least. And, oh look, the protesters are just getting, uh, they're, they're getting doused. No, they're, they're, no, they're, they're uh, uh, trying to put out the fires. That's what they're trying to do. There wasn't any fires around those people. Okay. No, you're, sh you're, you're dousing them with water in uh, below freezing temperature. That's not a good thing. You shouldn't be doing that. What the fuck? These are peaceful protesters, and look what they're doing. No, the, it's, the police. it's terrible. And these are peaceful protesters. I mean, let, let's point this out, too. Uh, when it comes to the way the corporate media has covered this stuff, if there were protesters acting out of line, uh, throwing these fireballs or whatever these... Flaming are, logs? Claiming. The corporate... Flaming logs, okay. The corporate media would be all over it. They would yes. be all over it because that's the only time they actually weigh in on a protest. There could be a thousand peaceful protesters and one out of line one. You will see that one out of line one on CNN. Right. That's how they did it with Occupy. That's how they're doing it now. Uh, that's just what we can come to and expect. It's not a conspiracy. It's true. They did the same with Black Lives Matter. The list goes on and on and on. So, so if there was any uh, validity to these accounts... I'm surprised the corporate media is not all over it right now. Yeah. These and accounts from police is what I'm saying. To yeah. And, and, and as far as the police go, they don't actually care that they're, they could be harming people. No, because their mandate right there, and you said it before, Ron, is that they must protect corporations at all costs. Uh, treating land? Don't care. Right? Sovereignty? We don't give a flying fuck. No, the oil masters... The ones who give us our paychecks, they must get paid. And see, this is what we end up caring about in America. As long as the oil flows, everything is good. In fact, I had some idiot tweet me last night when this whole thing was going down uh, that claimed that oil pipelines, they don't pollute rivers. No, you know who pollutes the rivers? The EPA. That's what this guy told me. The EPA. I'm over here thinking, are you fucking stupid? Are you stupid? We had over 200 pipeline spills just this year documented one of them do you remember i think it's louisiana they had to uh basically evacuate an entire fucking town so don't tell me that the oil pipelines are 100 percent safe and it's, it's the epa is at fault for all the different spills which is insane last i checked the epa doesn't build pipelines yeah i can't even try to trace the logic on that there I, is none i don't even know yeah and, and the final irony of this whole thing is that they were using the water as a weapon. The thing that they're trying to, to, to protect, the water protectors are. I mean, it's in the name, there, water protector. And, there and, is and the police. There's tragic irony there. It's, it's terrible. I mean, <laughs> this whole thing, I, I don't know how this is going to turn out. But, um, I mean, especially now with Donald Trump, not that. President Obama's doing anything. Where's Obama? I tweeted last night. Where are you, Obama? Where are you? He said he's going to let it play out. That's all he said. He, he said as he was yawning because he's he's so tired of having his job, which in some ways I don't blame the guy for that. But uh, he said he's going to let it play out. Let it play out as people are getting doused with water in 25 degree weather. Let it play out. And 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 that right there. And, and let's not forget, he weak. has a constitutional obligation to protect these people. It is their land via treaties. It's their land to begin with, but that's a different story for a different yeah. day. It's their land via treaties. It is this administration's job, and it would be the next administration's job, too. And they're doing nothing. Because it's all about the money, man. And in this right here, democratic leadership. And this is what we have. And not to say that Republicans would be any different. In fact, they would probably even be even more aggressive out there. So, I mean, this is this is the leadership that we have, 
and and it's a result of of course our system being purchased by the corporations by the oil companies and basically having them write our energy policy for us it's it's sick hey everybody thanks for watching this video if you want to see more like this please hit the subscribe button below and if you want to support truly independent non-corporate media go to our patreon page and become a patron patreon.com slash tyt nation